Good morning and welcome to Paul T's World on this gorgeous autumn morning. It's October, the leaves have just started to fall, so that means one thing, let's make some leaf mould. These leaves here that are falling on the garden, these are perfect for leaf mould. They're from the poplar trees just over there and they're just starting to shed their leaves. Absolutely perfect leaves. Later on in the video, I'll show you the leaves that I don't try and turn into leaf mould. Why is leaf mould so valuable? It is full of nutrients. It's a good soil improver. Leaf mould is a natural sponge retaining moisture to stop plants from drying out. Worms love leaf mould. You can use your leaf mould for sowing seeds, mulching, potting compost, amending the soil. The uses are endless. That's the first lot of leaves that are raked up. There are the poplar trees just over there. There's the big maple and next door I've got some massive trees as well and those are going to blow leaves over in the next month or so. So this is the first lot. Now there are two ways that I make leaf mould and the first way is ideal for people who haven't got much room, just want to leave the leaves and forget about them for a year. And I would recommend just using a plastic bag. So this is the first method I would use. And I would use this for the oak leaves because they actually do take two years. So this is a good method of just putting a bag under a shrub out of the way and leaving for a couple of years. Now the difficult part of making leaf mold is getting the bag open. Hey, done it. So obviously simply fill the bag. You want to fill the bag as full as you can because after a few months when they've started to rot down you will be surprised at how little there is in the bag at the end. So try and get as much in as possible. Then while it's open like this, take it to where you want to leave it for the winter and the following summer. I'll put this under the hedge here for the winter. So what I do is I fill it with water. Now, for obvious reasons, it's pretty important to put it where you want it before you put the water in. You will not be able to lift it afterwards. So let's just pop it here. This is a really thin bit of plastic. It's not my preferred method of doing leaf mould, but it's ideal for people who don't have much room and don't have these sort of bins that I'll be showing you in a minute. I fill it with water making sure the water goes round the sides and everywhere. This is the reason that you can actually collect leaves when it's been wet, because wet leaves are good leaves. Now I know this bag has already split, so it won't work that well, but what I do is I actually fill the bag full of water. I want all those leaves wet. Then once it's full of water, I'll tie it up. It's already splitting here, but it doesn't matter. So that's now full of water. It's where it's going to stay. Now, where's my knife? Here it is. And then I simply puncture the bag underneath. You can see the water coming out. I don't want this water staying in the bag, so I want there to be plenty of holes for it to come out. And for good measure, I'll just puncture it around the bag. Let's do another bag. And uh, I've decided to put my wellies on. It's getting wet down here.
some experts say, what about the aerobic, the anaerobic? Well, this always happens. <laughs> All right, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. Now, where was I? Yes, aerobic and anaerobic. Now, I don't know what's aerobic and what's anaerobic. Well, I do actually, but uh, as far as this is concerned, this works. So let's tie it up first. Is that the water out of the bottom? There we are. Well, half had already come out a little bit early. <laughs> hey, live television, eh? So just make sure there are holes all the way round and as I said, underneath because I don't want stagnant water sitting there because maybe that's anaerobic. There we are. Look at that, beautiful. Do you know what? In six months time, In six months time, this will be gorgeous. And in a year's time, we'll be putting it on the woodland area. So you could pile as many up here as you like. So that's the first method you could use. Which leaves should we make leaf mould with? I think it's really important that you put in the correct leaves. This doesn't mean every single leaf has to be identified, but let's just, let's just have a look at what I would not put in the leaf mould bin. This one here, these leaves, these are, and what are they? <laughs> they are white beam leaves. I've got a large white beam tree over there, just look at how thick these leaves are. I don't put any of these in for leaf mould. They would take far longer than one year and I want the whole thing done in a year. So they are out. Uh, Mahonia leaves. Now these are evergreen uh, shrubs, so you're not really going to see too many of these. Laurel, the same. They feel a bit waxy. They don't look like the type of leaf that's going to um, rot down. And holly, once again holly, also a thick leaf that isn't going to be that ideal. So those are the ones we're not going to use, so what are we going to use? Here we are, apple, leave some an apple, those will be fine, they will rot down quite well. I get a lot of apple leaves and those all go in. Oh, I can hear the long tail tits coming in now. They come in at this time of the day. It's the evening and they like to come in, have a feed on the fat balls and then go and have a little swim in the bird bath. Uh, field maple. These leaves look okay. Yeah, those would be fine. Uh, more field maple. Now, uh, these are a little bit glossy. These look like they're from the camellia. A little bit waxy for me but what we do have are the oak leaves now oak leaves do rot down really well however they may take two years so oak leaves two years if you're after a yearly cycle these will be better by themselves the oak and then I have my um, what is it? It's a maple, isn't it? The Crimson King. I'm not that keen on these leaves. Don't know why. Partly because at this time of the year they tend to have a little bit of mildew. Don't really like the look of them, so I tend not to put these in. But if they do get mixed up, in fact I've just uh, raked some of the lawn now in the front garden, and I've got all sorts of leaves here from various trees, and all these will be absolutely fine all those. So it's not a hard and fast rule but it does mean if you stick to the leaves that rot down well then you'll have it all done in a yearly cycle. Hey let's make leaf mould. 
it's uh, it's not so good to see leaves go to waste because they are they're the staple of the woodland. You walk through oh beech, my beech hedge has obviously a lot of leaves and those rot down beautifully. You walk through in autumn one of our beautiful beech woodlands in England, lots in the Lake District, and it's got a layer of leaf mould like this, and all the woodland plants love it. So let's not waste our leaves, let's rake them up. Even if you only have a small area, just use a small bin and see if you can make some leaf mould in a year. This is the other method I use, a large plastic compost bin. The beauty of this, of course, is you use it year after year. You get your leaves, exhibit A, and you pour them into exhibit B. Each time you pour them in, put some water in. Get a stick or other implement like this. Nice and expensive this was. And stir it round. Just give it a little stir and then water it. Make sure you water all the way round the edges because the edges can get dry very quickly. However, you will find that the leaves get to the top quite quickly. This looks like quite a, uh, a volume, but we've got lots of trees around here. And if you have the same, then you'll find the bin fills up really quickly. When it does, take the rows off using rainwater from the water butt, of course, no hoses here, and then increase the volume of water. And what that will do, it will immediately compress the leaves and you'll end up with more room for more leaves to go in. And you can keep doing that, and in fact I do, until the leaves are right at the top and no more will go in. It won't compress any more, and so then what you do is... You move over to your next bin. Now this bin here um, I haven't emptied yet. I empty these, of course, in autumn now because I have to, because there's more leaves coming in. Have I put that right? Let's move it across a little bit. Zoom it in. There we are. So this was absolutely full, pressed down with water, and now it's up to there with leaf mould. And let's see what we've got in here. There's your leaf mould. Isn't that gorgeous, eh? Look at that. So a year ago, those were leaves on the tree. So what I will do is decant it and put them in these bins. There we are, full, beautiful. Now I haven't done much this year because I haven't actually been buying plants due to lockdown. This is the leaf mold from this year. This has been in here for a year. So let's have a look at it. There is actually no base to this compost bin. I don't want a base on it because I want moisture to be able to escape. I want any worms or bacteria to, a, to be able to come up in amongst the leaves. Here is our leaf mold for this year.
Ah, can't get it started. We might have to abort this part of the video. Form for me, you're on camera. Is there any petrol in this? Ooh, not much, is there? There's no... <laughs> uh, we're a bit short on petrol, folks. What you've got to do is imagine that I got this started. And then when I'd got it started, I mowed over these lovely leaves here. And then once I'd done that, I took this off. And all these were in here. And when I showed you them like this, they were all cut up. So just imagine <laughs> that that was cut up. I know it doesn't, I'll tell you what. Oh, look at this. There we are, I'll start again. Uh, we've just mown these and all the leaves are beautifully cut up. This will save you about six months in the rotting down process. So, and if you get some grass in the cuttings, that's absolutely fine because grass really gets things going as well for rotting down. I often don't bother mowing over the leaves. Uh, I find that method I've shown you works really well and works in 12 months. But if you do want things to work a bit quicker, get yourself a good lawn mower. <laughs> Well, I do hope you've uh, enjoyed watching me struggle with the leaf mould, with the bins, with the water and my trusty lawnmower and indeed that you will have a go at making leaf mould right now. It's autumn, the best time, obviously. Brilliant. <laughs>